Ah, uh, you guys asked for it. It's giveaway time. I'm giving away a brand new PlayStation 4 one terabyte bundle, brand new in the box. And I've got hundreds of t-shirts for swag to give away for all of the up and comers who don't get the first grand prize first place. So make sure and click the link down below. It's super easy. You don't have to pay any money or anything. Just follow the little instructions and enter to win right now. Welcome Crusher Crew, I'm Carl. It's a really windy outside, but you guys are not gonna believe where I am and what I'm exploring right now. I'm actually investigating and exploring an abandoned water park. This place is crazy. We're gonna go in all these buildings and go up the water slides and look around. I'm gonna try to avoid all of the wind gusts. Keep your eyes peeled. If you guys see anything creepy or anything weird or anybody hiding in the background, please let me know down in the comments below because we're gonna be looking all over the place and sneaking around here. I'm all by myself. Hopefully I don't run into anybody. Let's go. Look at this. It's so cool. It's like a nice day out here. There's actually palm trees and all that, but people have come out here and put graffiti everywhere. It's so cool looking actually with all the graffiti art on the buildings. But this was a water slide park called the uh, Lake Dolores Water Park. And I think this must have been where people came up to get tickets to go on all the rides. Oh, look, there it is. It says water park right there. Let's go check it out. There's so much debris. So one thing I wanna do is be aware of hanging stuff. I also definitely don't wanna step on any kind of rusty nails or anything like that. But this is a place I've wanted to come and look around and search for things for the longest time. But you never know if there's gonna be like anybody trying to sleep in here, trying to hide or anything. Like the door's been all busted off. Looks like there used to be a toilet and stuff in here. So far, so good. I haven't seen any sign of anybody other than the fact that there's just like a giant wreck and entire destruction. People have come in here and busted all the walls up and everything. But this is just the very first building. I haven't even looked at Ooh, check this out. Oh, that looks creepy. Oh, there's a shirt hanging up. Look at this. That creeped me out so bad. I thought that was somebody laying there. Right? This is like rags draped up. It looked like a uh, uh, like a body or something. But, um, ew. Okay, so let's go take a look in here and maybe I'll get the black light out and we'll check it out in the dark. That's so creepy. Okay, here's the black light. All right guys, let's check this out. That'll be cool. Okay. Black lights on. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, good gravy. I should have looked at that. <laughs> that almost fell right on me. But yeah, okay. So we'll just, I'm not gonna try and shove my way through there. We'll just look through the hole in the wall. Oh gosh, there's a giant hole up there. It makes me uncomfortable. Well, I don't see anything, but I can say, hey, there's an owl. It does stink. It smells like people have used that for a bathroom. Yeah. So yeah, I was gonna open that door. Sure enough, just not even on the hinges. Okay, be aware of my surroundings. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna go back uh, across the way here, put the uh, black light away, and we'll find a dark room in this other big building. Right, oh, let's see. I'll run across over there, across the clearing, sneak across, and go in there, and then we'll set up the ghost box, the spirit box, and the REM pod, and see if we get any kind of paranormal anything here. You guys having fun coming on this adventure with me? So glad you guys are here. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash that like button, and let me know if there's any cool abandoned buildings or locations or haunted places that you think that I should go to and try to visit. This place is so crazy. Yeah, look. Like, this is like the front ticket counter. So cool. Hey, let's go. Oh, the water slide hill is crazy. There's the big water slide hill. The stairs going up, oh my gosh. We're definitely gonna go to the top of that and let's go.
This is like the uh, food concessions right here. It's like uh, the cafeteria where you buy your hamburger and your hot dogs and stuff. It's so crazy. This whole park was so extremely dangerous. There was accidents all the time. It was like a thing to try and go down the water slides, standing up on your feet to see if you can make it all the way down. But I tell you what, just to come and hang out here, even in the daytime and walk around and check out all the graffiti and the art. I mean, it's such a trip. It's so freaking cool just to get out and check it out and explore it. I haven't seen anybody else around. This building is pretty much wide open. I'm not gonna go in there. Next stop, we should go to the top of the hill. Hopefully it's not too windy. I'm gonna do the best that I can, but I wanna see what it looks like from the top. So see if we can find our way up there. Clear up there, oh my gosh. Yeah, check this out. Oh, that's all the chlorine and pressure tanks for this giant lazy river system. It looks like alien cloning pods or something. Look at that, so cool. That's all this entire giant abandoned water park and it's still just amazing to come and explore. Oh yeah, look, there's the lazy river right there. You know what I just thought of that would be amazing? What if they took this cement lazy river track and they turned it into an RC car race track or a go-kart track or something like that? This is like the coolest freaking skate park I think I could ever imagine, even just riding scooters and stuff. Okay, we're underneath the bridge in the lazy river. Time to sneak up, check out the water slides. So far, so good. This place is so freaking cool. Wow. Okay, so all the water slides used to be here on top of these posts. I can see that now. These pillars used to support the uh, water slides. So you would go up the stairs here, down the water slides, into these pools at the bottom. Time to get our exercise for the day. The uh, thousand stair abandoned water park challenge. Stair climb challenge. Here we go. All the way to the top. Not gonna lie, that's a hike. Wow, what a view. This is awesome. Look at this, you can see whoo, where the water slides go down. How do we not go up there? That looks so dangerous though. Notice that there's no hand railing and everything's broken. Oh my gosh. Just gotta stay right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, no hand railing, nothing. What a view. This is so cool. Wow. Amazing. This must have been where they came and sat down, boom, and went off the water slide all the way down there. Man, the wind is really starting to blow. Okay, I think I'm gonna head back down. Let's go check out inside these buildings one last time, see if there's anything we missed. down to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> this is where he would slide into the bottom of the water slide. So crazy. <laughs> it's so weird to see it like this. All right, I'm gonna go hop back in the lazy river and sneak my way back into the gross haunted abandoned buildings. <laughs> Look at that weird building. So far, I haven't seen anybody around anywhere. It's like the whole place is completely abandoned. Look, this has all been burned down. There's all this fire damage, look at that. Yeah. Okay. This whole place makes a lot of noise. So I get moving around and then I hear some kind of a bang or broken glass and uh, kind of gives you the creeps. 
Okay, you guys, this is the REM pod. Let me introduce you to the REM pod. If you haven't seen in the recent videos, what this does is you extend this antenna on the top, place it down on the ground or in a safe location. Anything gets near it or comes close or touches the antenna on the top, it lights up and sets off an alarm. So if I don't touch it and nothing else is touching it and the alarm goes off, then the idea is maybe we can communicate with some kind of a ghost. This is the one spot that made me feel the strangest. Right in here, the uh, creepy clown room. Yeah, look at this place. Here we go. Okay, that's all. That's me touching it. There's like gross stuff all over the walls. Okay, I'm gonna actually put it on this cardboard right here. If there's any, any sort of presence or entity in this place or in this room, you can touch that light or that antenna and let me know if you're here. If there's anybody here or any kind of presence or entity, just go up and touch that light. You can play with that antenna right there and it'll let me know that you're here. So, uh, is anyone here? Hello? See, uh, whenever I, I'm gonna start doing this stuff, but I'm, I promise I'm not gonna fake. I've been standing here for a minute. Nothing's happened. Oh, yeah. Maybe, I mean, I just like kind of hurried in here really quick. Maybe if I just sort of relax. See, honestly, this entire place has just felt really fun. I've just had like a good time going around here laughing, uh, except for the toilets. That was absolutely nasty. But you know what? I've been standing here for quite a while. Um, nothing, the REM pod hasn't done anything. So you guys know if I'm ever doing a video like this, uh, if the REM pod goes off, I'm not faking it, right? No, but nothing's happened. Just so you guys can see, right? If anything actually came into the room, some some invisible entity, something paranormal came up to this, then the idea is see how it doesn't do anything and then when you get close. What was that? See, this whole place makes noise. It's so creepy. But not the REM pod. You guys, thanks so much for joining me while I explored and investigated this mysterious abandoned water slide park. It's one of the last times I think anybody's gonna be able to come out here and check it out and go through all of it while it looks like this. So it's been so much fun. I can't wait to see what the new owners do. I wish them good luck and I hope that they have a ton of success on the new project because this place has a lot of positive vibes, a lot of really fun energy, and I hope that they pull it off. It'll be fun to come back and see it when it's all restored. How awesome would it be to come back and do another video. So if you like this video, make sure and check out all the other ones on screen. Make sure and subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.